Hey guys and welcome back, we're here in Westeros again with another Game of Thrones battle and what a sight we have before us, a huge army, just black specks at the moment and we are up here on this hill as House Tarly, um, we are playing the Battle of Ashwood which was during Robert's Rebellion and it's uh, technically the, o well it is the only battle that Robert Baratheon ever lost in this rebellion and I, I think ever in his like entire military career. And this was against Randall Tarly that he lost it. Let's try, I think Randall's over here somewhere. So we'll quickly have a look at him. Looks very much like uh, the actor from the show. A bit. Uh, he's a bit bit off. He looks a bit skewed. This side, this side looks... His head looks like it's divided in two almost. It's like the model. Like this side looks really good. And this guy side looks a bit... I don't know. Lopsided a bit. But anyway. So we have a huge... Tali army here. Tali, uh, Randall Tali has uh, called his banners and uh, his men to battle, and we have uh, lots of Horn Hill levies in the front line. And then we have um, they look pretty. They look pretty basic. I'll give you a quick look at them. Uh, yeah, they look just lightly armored with a sword. Then we have uh, the guardsmen melee. These guys look elite. I love the uh, the armor that they have going on. It's fairly similar to um, the Baratheon uh, um, armor. If you're playing a Stannis, this helmet looks very, very similar. And so does the... Uh, it probably is a very, very similar model. It's just different uh, crests and stuff like that. And then what do we have further down the line? We have uh, Tarly uh, spears, but they're more halberds. Look at the, looking at them, they look very, very good. Um, and then in the rear, we have uh, pikes, two units of them. I think we have about four... Four swords and three spears. Yes, I think that is true. And then we have uh, guardsmen mounted. We have three of these, and then we have um, another one in Randall Tarly's uh, bodyguard unit. And there, that's my. And then four longbows. Uh, not four long. Three longbows. Um, yeah, they're just very similar to uh, the melee sort. Leve levies. They have a uh, pretty basic armor. Not very much. And then over here we have Robert Baratheon, though not Robert Baratheon, because we can't... There's no model for him I can find, so we are using... Who are we using? I think we're using Renly. I think. Let me have a look. Yeah, there he is. We're using Renly. It's the closest thing. He's a brother. We could have used Stannis, I guess, but then you'd have the different assorted shields, and I wasn't one in that. So we've gone with, uh, yeah, Renly's Baratheon faction, because they look very much, they are basically the Baratheon uh, armies, and they have to set the usual crests and stuff. So we have, I'll quickly go over this, I think they have four longbows, um, they have about three guardsmen spears, three guardsmen melee, a lot of men-at-arms, which the uh, House Tarly doesn't have, doesn't have any men-at-arms, just guardsmen and melees. And then um, a lot of guardsmen mounted. I think another four of them, if you include Renly's. So uh, we will get on with the battle. And I am defending a hill. It's not the uh, forces aren't uh, accurate to what they have there because I'm not really sure what they had at uh, the Battle of Ashford. But I just fancy doing this battle. It's um, they talk about it in like the Game of Thrones series a bit, but especially when Randall Tarly is around. But uh, not much else is mentioned about it um, unless you like obviously know a lot about the lore and stuff like that and I don't really know if it was on a huge hill but we're on a nice hill this just looked like a nice map it did so I decided to go with this one so we are moving our cavalry out wide to uh, hopefully isolate their cavalry if it comes out and I think if you charge your cavalry like I've done this battle a few times before just to like make sure it ran smoothly and the AI did what it was supposed to do and didn't just sit at the bottom of the hill. Um, but uh, if you charge in your cavalry first and say more guardsmen, you will definitely win like the cavalry engagement more than likely if it's a one, one on one. If you're charging in against two cavalry units, you're probably stuffed. But um, yeah, but you, these uh, guardsmen mounted do so much damage like in their charging, just like in the Game of Thrones, it's very like exaggerated how dam much damage they do. The cavalry. I don't. It's not exactly exaggerated because I've never seen a cavalry charge in reality. But I imagine it's just for the, the t 
topped up a little bit just for the, the series. But anyway, I'm just going to have another quick look at these guys. They just look so beautiful. I mean, the detail in this mod, I just can't get enough of it. If you look at that, look at that crest. The detail they've gone into to putting little crests on there and stuff like that. The only thing that's different and annoying is that they've still got, like, the Attila... Yeah, you can hear there the Attila, like, war cries and stuff like that. So we, it's still we've still got, a uh, like, barbarians in charge of our men, it sounds like, but we don't really. So we'll have a quick look at uh, what's going on down here. We've got an archer engagement. We'll look at the point at the uh, view from the uh, Baratheons. They've got a fire uphill, which uh, that's, uh, that's unlucky for them. Poor guys, poor, poor guys. You've got a lot a lot to do. Can't even, can't even see what's going on for them from uh, that perspective. I need to uh, sort that out, get a new camera mod or something in to have a look. But yeah, they are so far away. They are just specks in the distance. Have you killed any? Oh, you took an arrow. You've got an arrow in you. You should be dead. A longbow arrow, that, that, you should be dead. It's just going straight through you. You are. That is impressive. And then imagine being these guys with the banners, just having to stand here. And the officer just standing here and just like, oh god, I could get hit by an arrow at any point and I can't respond. Because apparently you can take one arrow before you die. But yes, it's a pretty bloody uh, engagement going on right now. Um, they are fleeing one of the... Uh, no need to go forward. Just keep shooting at a different one. So we've broken one of the uh, Brathian longbow units and now because of that it looks like they're going to send... And we've forced another one to break as well. Start firing at the melee units that are going to start charging up this hill. Just fire into this huge horde and nice, easy targets that they're making for us. Look at that. Oh, devastating. Can we get some more volleys off, boys? More volleys. Got to stop this wave. Okay, they might get the charge off first on this flank. Let's watch this charge. Oof. Look at that. Look how many guys fall off their horses. Ridiculous. God, how many... How? What's the... The Baratheons are winning that quite decisively, it seems. And But we are winning that one. We've, we've won that one. Now we can charge in here and help out. And now we can rout the cavalry on this flank. What's the cavalry doing on that? Oh, the cavalry on that flank's got me. It's caught me. So we better sort that out. Um, yep, yeah, they're very dead at that melee unit. Look at that. 68 it's down to. Anyway, we'll send in the men at arms. And then um, send in some of the guardsmen as well. We need to f um, thicken the lines a bit. And then this cavalry unit can swing in here. And then you... Randall can go for the head. You can go for Robert Baratheon himself. Send in some pikes. Oh, no. Um, you go back right there. Fire at them. I wanted the pikes. Give me the pikes. Anyway, well, let's have a quick look at the ca uh, the infantry engagement. Absolute chaos. All you can hear is war cries, so I'm going to have to like talk up a little bit. There's just so much shouting. Stop shouting at each other. Um, you can help come and fight in here. Look at that, arrows coming in. It's like Bolton tactics. We out, we're just like, we've got the numbers. We can afford to kill some of our own. Look at that, pushing in. Oh, devastating, devastating. Um, who are these? Can you kill them? What have we got in reserve? We've got a few units in reserve. So we'll send you in there and we'll send you up over there. What is going on over there? Oh, maybe he didn't make it. I kind of want to see what happens. Oh, actually, no. Randall, don't charge. Randall, retreat. I want to see what happens. Oh, it's devastating. Pull out. We don't want to do that anymore. I just wanted to see what happens when you're charging a, in this mod when you charge cavalry into pikes. And it's pretty devastating. Oh, we might we might lose our general. And um, what do we have left over here? We have... Are you archers that have run out of ammo, possibly? No, you're not. Interesting. Okay, you yep, you save yourself. That's interesting. Well, we want to make this battle a little bit longer than usual. We want to try and keep as many of these guys alive. Oh, our men are broken. Oh, 
Rundle. You're just charging on through there, I see. But they are breaking now. It is going to be a very, very quick battle, unfortunately. I will be trying to do more multiplayer battles uh, soon. I just need to organize some dates and plans with people. I think Scream would like to do some more, so we'll try and do some bigger, uh, some bigger battles um, with him. Maybe try and do... I would like to do the Siege of River and all. I found a uh, Battle Blackwater map, so it would be good to do that. Renly is still around, though. Oh, okay, I spoke too soon. He just died. Oof, yeah, he's getting absolutely rinsed at the moment. So, yeah, come on, boys. You've got to try it. Pikes, come take out these pikes. Let's just watch the Tali Horde descend on this poor one unit. Let's get a let's get a perspective. Oh, actually, yeah, charging cavalry and not a good idea. Oh, so Robert Baratheon has died in our uh, version. He he didn't even escape. Oh, that's a deadly kill. Well, deadly definitely, my, uh, Pope, because it's uh, taken his head off. But um, yes, Robert Baratheon has died. In ours and um, oh, we still got men fleeing. Interesting. Probably cause something to do with those cavalry over there just charging down my archers. But oh well. Come on, kill him. Kill this guy. He's looking up at you. He's not even going to fight you. But these pikes are holding fairly well. They're surrounded and they're. Uh... Okay, I speak too soon in this in this uh, battle. They've just died. But look at that. This is a beautiful mob. So if anyone does want to do some. Uh, Game of Thrones battles with me, please let me know and um, I will try and get some done. I need to reinstall this mod because the replaying is not working as of yet. So that's why more of these battles are live than they are um, replays. So I will end the battle and we can have a look at close victory. I'm not really sure. We kind of destroyed their front lines. Maybe because I just threw cavalry in for the... the fun of it that probably made it a bit closer yes 800 yeah we're not even losing a thousand out of our 2000 i wouldn't really call that close 1812 of theirs lost of their 2066 yeah they definitely got massacred their archers look at that doing no damage firing up hills uh, always gonna be hard for them so if i was to do this battle again i might give them less archers I'll just do it on a different map so they have uh, no hill uh, disadvantage but uh, yeah, all my levies basically got massacred, apart from this one. Randall Tiley was lucky to get out alive. And then Longbows... Oh no, he wasn't running down the Longbows then. Maybe uh, the cavalry was running down uh, these Hornhill levies or something like that. But these uh, guardsmen all basically all got massacred. Poor cavalry there dying. And then most of the uh, guardsmen and men-at-arms... Uh, yeah, these are the only men-at-arms that they have, actually. I uh, take it back. They have these guys, and that's it. Oh, men-at-arms, uh, Longbows. So they have a few, but mostly levies. But um, yeah, there are so many more uh, houses I haven't done. I still haven't done the Vale or the Riverland, Riverlands yet. So I will plan to do them in future battles. Like I said, if you want to uh, take part in them, please let me know. Hit me up on uh, Discord or uh, just met, say in, this, in the comments if you want to have a battle. If you've got the mod, I'm more than happy to do so. So yeah, if you guys have enjoyed, please remember to like and subscribe. I would really like to get to 250 by the end of the month. That would be great. Until next time, guys, bye for now.